So the plan for this weekend is we're going to go on a road trip to Scotland and back. Welcome to Scotland. I don't see any Loch Ness Monster. Setting off from London, we're going to head all the way up through the Scottish Highlands. This is Harry Potter land. It's pretty nice. It reminds me of home. And we're going to make our way up to the Isle of Skye. Have I ever tried whiskey before? <laughs> and then back down to the Lake District in England. I forgot to mention the rocks are quite slippy. And to do this, Matt and Catherine have bought a van which they've named Hippo. And this summer they're planning on driving it all around Europe. So this trip's kind of like a test run for the van. Well, it seems to be quieter the faster you go. That's our trip over, guys. So here we have a 1995 Nissan Serena. Apparently the, one of the most unpopular models of vehicles on the road today. And hopefully it's going to get us around Europe uh, as well as up to Scotland. And Not that Scotland's not part of Europe, but she's uh, pretty ugly, pretty slow. How much does she cost? 400 squids, 400 quid. Where'd so you get it from? I bought it from some hippies uh, in the middle of Wales, basically. And within an hour of owning it, I got it stuck on the side of the road and I had to get towed out by a farmer. Um, so already it had a little bit. So Hippo is quite an appropriate name because it likes mud. Um, as you can see, it's got lots of, still lots of mud underneath it. There. Yeah. <laughs> just a bit of mud. Matt's shag and wagon. Yeah. <laughs> Treasures of England, Grantham mm. services. It's beautiful. Um, Something even more beautiful is Hippo. Ties up front in the car and he's shitting himself. Tain? It's the fucking Tain Yeah, thank you. Made it to the tune. Cheers. Sláinte. Cheers. Campo. Is nice. In one piece. Oh, would you like to nibble on some of my nuts? <laughs> no, thank you. Are you sure they, they're not salty? Right, I'll try some. I'd like to help I'll like myself. It's fairly raw. Everyone, let's play pool. This is going to be the shit that's great ever. I love how we're like in Newcastle, which has a reputation of like the big craziest nights out in England. It's not just, doing that. just having a quiet beer in a basement. <laughs> oh! oh! Like, we've got a like, oh, oh, like so so How do you feel about that? <laughs> right. I feel fucking awesome. Yeah. I feel alive. Yeah. I feel like a winner. Um, yeah. how, do feel, how do you feel about that, Matt? Um, well, the, basically, Carl has won me for the night. So. Are you a slave now? Yeah. We um, everyone in all. You can just kill a wolf. Not me. Good morning from Newcastle. Thank you. Uh, this this uh, will serve us well on our uh, the rest of the road trip. Look at that. I just met up with my good friend Adam here. We've known each other since we were four. Oh, um, what have you got around you? What's surrounding you? Uh, well, I think we've got a, we've got a, um, a stag do over here. Shocking. Uh, and there's a hens party over here. Yeah. And there's a group of guys going away somewhere over here. So, And then this old guy over here has just rolled in for his first beer of, of the morning. <laughs> Adam, explain to us what has happened to Newcastle Nightlife. Well, I feel like Newcastle's my city because I've lived here for nearly six months. And, uh, <laughs> we 
it's just been overrun by these hens and stag It's just awful. It's awful. It's 15 in the morning in Newcastle. Drinking games at Hitman. This is the castle of Newcastle fame. And this is the railway bridge that they knocked down the old castle to go over. <laughs> I really like the construction of the rail bridge. <laughs> Straight there. <laughs> How old is the Castle of Newcastle? That is a question. I think it's about 56. Years old? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's Newcastle's reputation? Is, is it like... No, sorry, it's Edinburgh that's the cultural centre of the UK. So what's Newcastle's claim to fame? Uh, Stag and Hendy. Stag and Hendy. Cheap piss, basically, is it you're yeah. saying? Uh -huh. yeah, cheap piss. Fine, city. Back on the road, the journey continues. Yeah, we've just refueled uh, 65 pounds from Wandsworth uh, to just north of Newcastle. So I'm pretty happy with it, apart from the vibrations. But also there. Yeah. How are we feeling? Pumped for the next bit of the journey? Yeah! It's gonna be good. Just had some Coke. Scotch. And some Coca Cola. Oh. So I'm ready for it. I'm a sugar high amongst other highs. Yeah, I'm high on life. And cocaine. Uh, we don't do cocaine, do we? We don't do cocaine. No. No. Never. No, Is there any white powder? No. What do they call it? Like? That's why you smell like girls. <laughs> Basically, um, I just had a look, as you can see. Well, then, the car. Now that's a hippo. But what's happened is the drive shaft that where it bolts onto the diff is basically just the where the bolts all joined together have just basically sheared. Uh, um, how long is this, uh, would it take a mechanic to fix if it was in the well, into the store? So we won't be able to get it fixed because it's ceased it. Uh, I don't think it's the end of the hippo, but I. I do think it possibly is the end of this trip unless uh, we go and get a rental car and carry on with the rental car. Just on hold with direct line. Yeah, the, the whole music is rescue me. <laughs> it's kind of like the really rubbing in your face. <laughs> no, it's not. It's actually a no wheel drive at the moment. <laughs> because the, 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 the um, drive shaft is, is uh, broken away from the diff. Uh, I've call. just paid money for <laughs> to be picked up, basically to be towed to Edinburgh, um, and they are going to uh, take us to a garage where they will fix it. Um,
the men's thing, please. Okay, cool. Go that way, mate. Take the journey continues. <laughs> <laughs> Right, they're dropping the van off here, it's not going to be fixed till Tuesday, so we're going to go to a rental car place and try and get a rental car for the rest of the weekend. So hopefully the journey can continue from there. Um, we're supposed to be going all the way up to uh, Isle of Skye and right. Fort William and all Come the way back, back down to London. Uh, well, you made it to Edinburgh, right? <laughs> <laughs> so it's fucked then, it's completely fucked. That's, that's the fucked bit. That's the fucked bit. Ah, yeah, it is. Not good. You can see it's just, yeah. there's the bushes uh, where it's just shown. You could get another one, but it'll just fall back at you there. Mm. Yeah. It's yeah. pointless. Rent the car's our only option. We're in Edinburgh. <laughs> We're in Edinburgh train station, uh, trying to get a car, basically, to carry on our journey. We're not going to, we are not defeated yet. Right, well, this is nothing left at all. Not in Hertz, not in budget. Nothing. So, I was about to chuck a tent here and I had to go for a walk. As soon as I got back, <laughs> magically a car had appeared. <laughs> this is the map to get to the car, it's a bit of a trip, so we need to make a move. Um, and we have a car, we have a little Hyundai. Um, back in business. We're back in business. We were that close to being like, right, no cars. It's we're going to have to stay in a burn. That's it. And then that last moment, some guy sorted us out. Yeah, said, oh, you're looking for a car? I was like, well, yeah, that's why we're standing here. And um, yeah, he sorted us right out. What are we going to call it? Well, call it fuck yeah. Oh, Black Beauty. You little Black Beauty. beauty. Don't, 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 don't break the car. I think what happened is she refused you and then uh, Kath and I broke that. Yeah, we, we saw, sorted it out. Well, I think she saw these two ridiculously attractive people and they were like, uh, actually, we have a car. <laughs> they probably could have got a limo if Carl had gone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on my way from misery to happiness today. Uh-huh. 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 Yeah, I'm on my way from misery to happiness today. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Hello, Hello. Okay, uh, so we are on the road to Stirling from Edinburgh. Stirling is famous for the Battle of Stirling Bridge, which was where uh, William Wallace sort of first made his, I guess, stand and where the rebellion first faced an English army, uh, pretty much, in, in the open field of combat, and they defeated them. As a result of this, they made him the um, defender of Scotland. Uh, and we're going to see the William Wallace um, uh, big uh, memorial uh, to him. Cheers, guys. It's lunch. Cheers. Bye-bye. Can I just say, everybody, that um, today uh, we did amazingly well considering the situation. Um, and what situation? Oh, you were you were asleep the whole time. Really. Um, the day isn't over. We still got to get to Fort William. We're still on the wrong side of Scotland. Um, last night about half ten and just it was pitch black and we just crashed out but we woke up this morning to find all this that's Ben Nevis right up there and um, gonna get ourselves a nice Scottish breakfast and then keep on going through the Highlands to Isle of Skye which should be pretty sweet what do you think it's pretty nice reminds me of home so we've got bigger mountains yeah so which ones Ben Nevis is up uh, behind that, behind that, you see that where the cloud is covering yeah. up it. That's yeah. it. And you see the people on the path, but just up there, the path going up. Okay, 
so we are at Glen Finnan and that is Locks Hill and basically this is Harry Potter land. That whole lake there is used for uh, where Hogwarts is. They kind of digitally put in Hogwarts on that lump there. Over here, we have the Glen Finnan Viaduct. An amazing monumental Victorian construction, um, which is featured in pretty much all the films. Uh, probably most significantly Chamber of Secrets, which is the worst of the films. But even if you're not into any of this geeky shit, it's still amazing coming here because it's just absolutely spectacular. What do you think? Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's pretty cool. I can't get over how pretty it is, especially with the mist. It's really nice. I also can't get over how cold it is just by stepping off from the road yeah. and coming here. It's really nice. Carrying on the geek monologues here. Um, see the train track actually keeps going along here. And this is used for quite a few of the opening shots of uh, Harry Potter as well when they arrive at Hogwarts. I'll cut to right now, which clips the film and you recognise that and that and this view. Can you imagine Beautiful. you put up a tent there, Amazing. right in the middle of all those trees? That would be an awesome tent. Yeah. yeah. How's this compared to yesterday then? Uh, this is uh, the complete opposite to yesterday. Um, I had like the sort of final relaxation moment in the car before as we drove past here and I was like, oh, I'm relaxed finally. Worth it. Look how, it's how quiet it is. It's so well. quiet. Tickets for the uh, ferry to Sky. Um, I love the smell of the sea, it's so good to feel it again. You just steam it up. <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> well, we're on the uh, ferry to Isle of Sky. Where are we going? Heading out to nowhere. Look at that. Nothing. It's really pretty. It's, uh, if you look out there, you'll just, you'll just see any land. It's just mist. There's a really cute little puppy out there who really likes us wearing his tail. It's really cool. It's good. I bought this from the travel shop on the ferry. So what's this? Terbach. How much is that? Nan Elin. Connoisseur blended Gaelic whiskey. Originally I thought it said garlic, but then when I realised it was Gaelic, I thought that would be okay. Anyone? Not. Well, yeah, it's yours. There, there we go. Down. Down. Oh. <laughs> oh. 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 Have I ever tried whiskey before? I was wondering why you got. No. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, it is nice. Just, yeah, tell us about why Why did you want to visit Isle of Skye? Because my grandmother was in McLeod. Okay. So my grandparents came up here and wanted to go visit the parliament and stuff back in the 80s. So I thought I'd do what they did and yeah, it's actually really beautiful. So the McLeods are from Skye then? Yes. Yes, right. they've, got a, they've got their own parliament up there which is held like every two years. And apparently, if I really wanted to, I could write all the history and say I want to vote. but. That would be pointless because I don't know anything. <laughs> this is how the it's, it's called a pes, Pepsi whiskey. <laughs> You've come all this way to Isle of Skye where your ancestors are from, and you're not going to remember any of it. I, this is nothing, Carl. Come on, don't there. don't be judgmental. You know you want one. No, not really. It's too early in the day. I'm not Australian, obviously. Isle of Skye is just appearing through the mist. 
it's the bit of the trip where I literally have no idea what to expect, no idea what's the day out of the sky, what it's going to be like. Go on, you f***ing in the f***ing car, you stupid f***. Sick, you f***ing Wow, on the aisle. We're about to touch down. Sky. And... Yay! Now we're on the aisle. Cool, right, should we go back? Down there, clicking muscles. Good yep. mm -hmm. And then we'll ask him for some seafood. Not bad, eh? It's pretty nice, all right. We're gonna go for a wander, see what we can see, get we some food. First point is to find a co op. Get some beers. Just walk around with some cans, like some chavs. Yeah. yeah. That's right. Yeah. What are you gonna order tonight? Uh, some fucking prawns. <laughs> They've got Thai and Chinese here, so. It's a Thai yeah. and Chinese. Well, it's actually Chinese Thai in Indian restaurant, so. Basically, it's all that part of the world. <laughs> Foreign place. Yeah. It's a lot more touristy than I expected. There's a lot of different nationalities here. I was kind of expecting some sort of rough back end town where everyone looks like they stepped off the set of Braveheart or something. You know, big ginger beers, kilts, but we've got people from all around the world here. This tiny town on this tiny island in the middle of nowhere. It's nice, though. So we come to this nice restaurant in Thai. What are you doing? You play music through your phone. My phone, because it's, it's just ambient music. It's such a chav. I take your 80s ballad and raise your Scottish music for the rest. Mm. This, this is Japanese. Scottish music. Cheesy music. Oh, there we go. You see? Have you guys still got that? Oh, we've got cheesy. I mean, good. <laughs> <laughs> I did that, but I mean, perfect music, you know. <laughs> you know, at home like, when you're not at work, right? Like, yeah. Don't be silly. <laughs> I should probably tell you that I go home and wear a kilt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tap dance away to Highland. Cheer and sheep. Yeah. You know what? Cheers, everyone. Um, Slide Great day. Come by. Okay. What an awesome day. Yeah. Full Scottish breakfast. Mm. Haggis is sheep awful. Sheep offal. So it's your heart, your kidneys, mm -hmm. your livers, all those sorts of things. And it's oh, mixed. Protein for the day. And it's mixed with oatmeal. Oh, so your fibre. Protein and, and fibre. Protein and haggis. Protein and fibre. Beautiful. Madeline? Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. 
We are now on the third leg of the journey. We are heading back down south. Today's going to be a very long day, but we've got a lot of cool stuff to see. Including uh, Loch Ness, Castle Storga, Glencoe. Yes, that's right. Not necessarily in that order, because uh, it's not in that order. Um, and then we're getting up the Lake Districts, back down in England. I mean, let's just have a look for a second at what we're leaving uh, as we pull up here. I mean, look at this. Let's just check this out. Beautiful. Or as the landlady would say, almost as beautiful as Ty. <laughs> <laughs> she liked what she saw. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is um, my friend Steve's family's castle. He still has like second cousins that live there. Um, so yeah, it's wow. quite a famous landmark and they still live there. We're not going to pay to go in, um, of course, because, well, I'm a Maori and I'm cheap. <sighs> Scotland is just stunning, and I, I think it's because, like Catherine was saying, it's just so massive. Um, it looks like misty clouds, the locks are beautiful, just trees everywhere, it's just very foresty, it's just beautiful. It's nice. I like it. And rural. And rural. <laughs> and so it's, much um, rurality. <laughs> it's a great place to drive, because look at some of the stuff that you get to drive around. Highland, Highland cattle. The fringes on them kind of look. If you just come around here, we can have you side by side. Mm. Now you can't see. Yeah, same hairdo. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my summer house. Take it off the list, but nice just to chill out here as well. It's really pretty. Uh, I don't see any Loch Ness monster, but I guess she's she's just shy. Have you seen Loch Ness yet? I thought so, but Whoa. then it was just Ty. Right. Was disappointing. So I thought I'd leave a little offering for Nessie. Um, I don't think that'll fill it up. A man-sized tie might. Yeah, tie just... Oh, her tie around. hasn't able to fill up many men lately. <laughs> That's mine. Yeah, tie has been busy filling up men instead of monsters. Yeah. Or filling up men with his monsters, probably what he say, you see. So it's that easy. It's that easy. Well, I mean, most men when they see it, they go running. <laughs> Two towards me. <laughs> it's innuendo, by the way. Oh. A little offering to Nessie somehow, and we're close to strawberry. Make a crisp. Crisp like that. Yeah, beautiful. Come on, Nessie. Where's the strawberry gone? Where's the strawberry gone? Castle Stalker, 
Uh, don't know any of the history of it, but it was featured in Monty Python's Holy Grail right at the end of the film. What if the captain was Italian? So this is the similar castle on the lock, something or other. This castle was called? It was Kilchurn Castle. This is a great little town. I don't know. Inverary, I think. Inverary. I think so that's how you pronounce it. If you're in here, if you're around this area, definitely pop in. Uh, I wish we'd had, we'd had more time to explore this place, actually. Glasgow is famous for um, movie stars and swimming pools, and they say it's the um, Beverly Hills of the UK. Welcome to England. Back in England. Well, we've got the lake still to go. The, the adventure. We've still got one more adventure to go. Adventure together. You and me. <laughs> and the rest of us. Oh, right. I forgot, I forgot about them. They basically just sleep in the back seat. <laughs> And this reminds me of Postman Pup. With like I agree. the green. It does remind me. Little green roads and sheep spotting around and the little cobblestone little, walls around. We just need a little. I just um, expect a black cat Jess to come pouncing at me at any time. And I'll run it over. <laughs> ran over his cat. All the well, guts went it. flying. Postman Pat was crying. He never seen his cat as flat as that. <laughs> that didn't happen. Another successful day. Yes. Yeah. And now we're here in the Lake District, a place that I've been to many times before, but not for many years. So it's going to be nice. <laughs> it's going to be nice. To be really? Back. Yeah. Uh, it's about the place we're staying at, where it's located. It's Knott's Mill Lodge. It's on Coleswater Lake. It's across the water from a place called Howard Town, where uh, my school went there for a week. We had a week there to do some outdoor activities and stuff, and it's fantastic. It's going to be great being back and seeing the area again. And now we're just in this sort of little crammed local pub, um, getting more food. This is uh, this is what we eat. Oh, look at that! Nice. Lovely. <laughs> Matt, eat this stroganoff, or I'm going to eat it because that sauce is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> how's, the, how's that marrow? It won't come out. Yeah, it won't. If you don't, if you don't suck on it. He lied. There's nothing in there. If you don't suck on it hard enough, it won't come out. Cool. Give it a good suck. Guys. Just, just no, cradle the bottle. No, no. Cradle the bottle. <laughs> cradle the bottle doesn't work. <laughs> Swallow all the gravy. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, yeah, I would say we're tied, so that's why the level of the conversation is that here, but it's been like that the entire time. This is just how mature we are. <laughs> Don't bite it. <laughs> This actually reminds me of New Zealand, when it probably should be the other way around, because New Zealand reminds me of this. Well, it's been a while since I've been here. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Simply stunning. <laughs> Just amazing. Your 
toe in it. You're going to swim in it? No! Don't feel how cold the water is. I want to swim in it, but I'm not going to. Catherine, how are you going to dry your foot off? First, dry it off on your jeans. <laughs> Do this, Kat. Go Where's Kat. that sock going to go? <laughs> no, you have to do it some more. Kat, do it some more quickly. Oh, God. Why? That was fantastic. It actually completely exceeded my expectations, and it was perfect. It was a lovely little walk. And um, I'm the only one who didn't slip over, which makes me feel like a champion. We'll rectify that. Kat, you fell over, and yes. all I saw you were face down on the grass. <laughs> but your camera was like raised up, and you're like, camera! Camera! Take it. You okay? to mention the rocks are quite slippy. I fell over, nobody saw me fall over, so I could have gotten away with it, but I did have a big wet patch on my ass, so I didn't. Not the first time your ass has been wet this holiday. Yes. This is not Carl's fault. Who's the more foolish? The fool or the fool who follows him? You did say, are you okay? And when I said, uh, yeah, you just sort of carry on filming. Yeah, well, once I knew you were okay, then, then we obviously got to get the footage. But I did check you were okay first, which is what matters. So that's what, that's what friends are for. Even if he wasn't okay, you still would have carried I would have then, what I would have done, if let's say you had fallen in the river, I would have carefully placed the camera down in an angle to capture all the action. Then I would have saved you. But just, you know, you still would have been fine, but we would have got on video as well. <laughs> that was kind of fun, though. Did you I enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. The one big difference um, between this and Postman Pat is that in Postman Pat it was never raining. <laughs> so we're in Windermere, which is like a typical English country village. I'm just gonna get some food. Is that a new part? That's a new part. Is there any chance of getting a used part and um, maybe replacing the bushes? Well, uh, for a brand new shaft, prop shaft, fitted, it was going to be £690. Right. How much did she cost? 400 squids. 400 quid. Which is ridiculous. Um, so I said, well, no, that's stupid. It's more expensive than hippo. Yeah. Um, uh, so he's going to have a bring around for a second hand one. Uh, and then he's going to give me a call back. And if that doesn't work, then I think we'll just let it go. Can't really say it's a thing of beauty, but uh, it is a thing. And hopefully it's going to get us around Europe. We have to really reevaluate what we're going to do for this trip because mm -hmm. um, I don't think it'll be possible then. No. See, I thought we'd finished with the Harry Potter stuff, but we've got owls and we're going to get on the steam train for now. So. Nice way to finish the holiday. Steam I'm just train. hoping that it's a real steam train. Steam I'll be train. Here. Oh, it's the fucking tank engine. It's missing a face, that's oh, all I'm going to yeah, say. Too, Is it, no, it's, it's missing a face. He doesn't have that. Yeah, <laughs> baby! Yeah. Very excited right now. I love seeing trains. Tell us about the guidebook, come on, sell us the guidebook, sell it. Um, it tells all the history of the line. Um, it's got how um, how the line progressed from being a travel line to a tourism line. <laughs> I think we should get one, what do you think, team? Sold! Who's got, who's do you want me to send this to your boss to prove that you've made a sale? Yes, I did. Uh, on the 8th of June 1972, the locomotive was retired and sold for scrap. For the next 30 years, the locomotive was totally neglected. 
sinking into soft earth up to its axles. It took four days to dig out. <laughs> but because it was in wooden trees, it actually kept the, um, all the slide bars on the side and everything remarkably free from rust because they couldn't get to it. So it actually kept it in quite a good condition. Amazing. So this is a... Uh, that's the uh, wheel where they um, turn stuff. Um, this was installed in 1897. <laughs> and it's from the oldest features of the train. It's really scenic. It's uh, not going too fast, so you kind of get that feeling that they want you to take in the countryside. Notice we don't call it going to be a lake, because it isn't going to be a lake. There's only one lake in the lake district, that's Lake Bassenthwaite. Everything else is either a water or a mere, and a mere is the Norse word for lake. So if you call it Windermere Lake, you're actually calling it Winder Lake Lake. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you always worry where the trip there'll be no kind of final thing, it'll just peter off, but this is like a perfect little ending, actually. You've got to put some more innuendos in about train taking us through a tunnel, tunnel coming up from the rear. Pouring so, steam. I don't know what you're talking about, Carl. Yeah, what do you mean? I don't understand. Can you explain it further for us, please, Carl? Yeah, just tell just us. Sex. Just pretend. <laughs> pretend, sex. pretend we don't understand a word of what you're saying. Okay, well, when uh, a guy and a girl love each other very much, or sometimes two guys. Oh, that is racist, <laughs> Carl. That is racist. I don't know how that equates to steam trains, Carl. Hey. Well, one day you will, Matt. <laughs> one when, day you will. If you're <laughs> That was fantastic. That was uh, one of the highlights of it. It's been a great trip, despite the ups and downs. Um, roller coaster emotions, but that was pretty awesome. Nice way ahead for the long drive back. Yes, that's right. Yep. Speaking of which, we're going to do it now. So, <laughs> thoughts on the trip overall? That's what this uh, group therapy session is all about. Well, what can I say? It's been an adventure, uh, really. Uh, it's had everything that an adventure has. It's had highs and lows, it's had laughs, it's had almost tears, blood, sweat and tears. I think all the little slip-ups just made me enjoy it more ups. in the end. It's made the highs really high. Yeah. Made me really appreciate it. Ty was said uh, we all have to have, find one word to describe the holiday. So my word, I thought about this as well, uh, is perseverance. Because there's a lot of times where, yeah, exactly, yeah, I'm going for, I'm going for the heart here. Yeah. I'm going for the heart. Um, my other word was going to be innuendo, but um, <laughs> perseverance. <laughs> yeah. Basically, all along the way, everything worked out fine in the end. Yeah, I mean, Carl said everything that I would have said, just not as well. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to jump straight into uh, my word, and that's beautiful. Uh, it was stunning, beautiful countryside. It was really rural. The whole trip, just the rurality was, was overwhelming. And the altitude. Awesome. The altitude, I mean, it was the, the air. Al the altitude, because you're so high up when we're it at sea level. It was the air, it was, it was the grass, the greenness of the grass. You don't realise you're missing that when you live in London because you always like rush here, rush there. Uh, and often when you have getaways you will go to like cities, you know, like, you know, city getaways. You don't see that natural beauty. I saw some amazing, beautiful, natural things um, which reminded me of New Zealand. So, you know. Um, I don't know why I came away here just to see that because it uh, was filmed. You wouldn't um, have been able to see it with the same people. And yeah, it's true, I wouldn't I never would have met uh, these three wonderful people that are here with me now. All very good friends. Uh, apart from Catherine. But <laughs> <laughs> I joke, I joke. I just need to burp because so I'm trying to burn <laughs> I like to laugh at you. <laughs> That's what you're there for. I've enjoyed <laughs> So um Cheers to good friends, uh, good times, and uh, good health. Cheers, everyone.